All right, we have a little special guest who came down. He's popping in to do, do a quick little spot for you guys. This spring, you can see him in the movie the, the, called The Bleed Up with um, Liette Schreiber. And if you watch uh, Kevin Can Wait, if you're watching Kevin James' sitcom on CBS, uh, he plays, uh, yeah, Enzo. He plays Enzo on Kevin Can Wait. Give a very nice hand for Mr. Joe Starr. Let me hear Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. I was upset. I was late getting here. I'm driving on the highway and I, I see a sign that says, traffic moving well. And why am I sitting still <laughs> reading the sign? And I looked it up on, on my phone. I found the signs were invented by a guy named Saul Goldberg. So you got to read them right. You know, traffic moving well. <laughs> That would make sense now. That would all make sense. Anyway, I'm happy to be here because uh, I just recently, two days ago, for the first time in my adult life, got a totally clean bill of health. So I'm very, very happy about that. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Triglycerides, perfect. Blood pressure, perfect. Cholesterol, perfect. Shock everybody. Because look at me. I, I am not the picture of health. I'm, I'm 30. <laughs> I'm not even a sketch of health, is, is what I'm not. And it's my, people and my friends go, look, if you know you're heavy, why don't you do something about it? And see, it's not my fault. When I was young, I was taught, you have to learn to love yourself, right? And I love cake. So I gave it to me all the time. It was easy. Every time I ate, there I was. And, but I was young, so I could eat whatever I wanted and still stayed in shape. And then I got older, and I realized, well, you know what? They say if you love someone, you've got to set them free. And that's when I just let myself go. <laughs> because your priorities change. When I was a young man in my 20s, you should have seen me. I was beautiful. I was six and a half feet tall. <laughs> and I used to see my body as a temple. You know, now uh, I see it more like a parking garage. <laughs> you know, things go in, stay for a couple hours. <laughs> and then they gotta go. <laughs> the longer they're in there, the more I gotta pay to get them out. <laughs> priorities change. When I was in my 20s, my big priorities in life were women and money. And now it's getting enough fiber in my diet <laughs> right? and not falling in the shower. Those are my two things. <laughs> but the body goes in different ways by degrees, you know. And it's, I went to the doctor recently and I, I said, I think I've developed an allergy to leather. And he's like, that's an odd allergy. What makes you think that? See, every time I bend over to tie this shoe, I pass out. <laughs> I don't know if it's the laces. I don't know what it is. But I, I want to get all the like, you know, I mean, you go to the doctor more the older you get. Of course. I, my father even goes more than I do. My grandfather goes so much, we just got him season tickets. <laughs> he doesn't even need an appointment. He just walks in and the nurse goes, ain't you wrong? Oh, yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> well, what brings you in today? My grandson. <laughs> No, why are you here? Oh, you know what? I, I pee a lot now. Well, that happens as you get older. How often are you going? Uh, I'm going now. <laughs> if you want a sample, now would be the time. <laughs> he lives in a 55 and older community in Florida, which kills me. That that's what they chose. 55. That's the number. 55 and older. I went there. The sign should say 55 and way over. <laughs> Did you say 1855 and older? Actually, they are. This guy seems more years than a calendar maker, but he's very old. But I want to be like that, you know? And you don't know what kind of old person you're going to be when you get older, you know? You don't know what you're going to look like when you get older. Nobody in this room over 50 knew one day they were going to look like this. None of us knew. Do you think I knew one day I was going to wake up and look like Fred Flintstone on The Sopranos? Do you think I knew that? That's exactly what I look like. Right? That's what I look like. You don't know. 
My friend Johnny, we were in, in college, he used to get older girls, tall, thin, good looking guy. And now, you know really old guys who lift their pants way too high? He's, he's gonna be one of those guys. They're already way up here now. And I saw him yesterday, I said, Johnny, lower your pants. Will you lower your pants? Like, why, why? I can see your whole sock. Lower your pants. <laughs> Will you bend over my ice water? Will you lower the pants? And he got mad, he goes, hey, you know how hard it is to find a pair of pants that fit like this? Well, I can't imagine how hard it is. Find a pair of pants with a collar like that. <laughs> Why don't you just have the pockets taken out and have sleeves for them? Why don't you do that? <laughs> They're almost all the way up there. Because you gotta accept it as you get older. You know, like I said, look, I wake up and this is it. This is all I have. I wake up and this is it. And I had a wake up call recently. My wife bought a full length mirror and I forgot she put it behind the bedroom door. I came out the shower. <laughs> what a depressing afternoon I had. Oh my god, I'm built like melting ice cream now. That's what I look like. <laughs> you believe that? I got the body of a giant two year old. That's what I have. I'm like a huge infant. It's ridiculous. And my friends who are even heavier than me, they don't want to admit, you know, I hate when people won't admit what they look like. I love when somebody shows me their driver's license and they go, oh, I hate the picture. It doesn't look anything like me. It looks exactly like you. It's a photograph. <laughs> this is not a sketch. This wasn't freehand. You look this ugly. <laughs> Your eyes are this far apart. Do you see this? What are you, one sheep? They're very far apart. Your ears are closer together than your own eyes. But you gotta laugh at stuff. You know, they say, they say laughter is the best medicine, which is ridiculous. Percodan is awesome. Oh, man. I threw my back out. It was my fault. And you hurt your back. Everybody becomes a doctor. Everybody, oh, put ice. No, 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 put heat. Put ice, put heat. I put ice in a glass, then I put scotch. <laughs> That's my little public service announcement to you. <laughs> I'm Joe Starr. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. You're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give a nice hand for Joe Starr.